What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. I am finally bringing you today the park tour for my abandoned park on Isla Pena. Now, let me tell you, this was really annoying, okay? I left the game open for probably like five hours last night. Just let it sit there, and I got maybe three or four storms the whole time. Isn't that annoying? Like, I just wanted some storms to break some stuff. And it, the, you only get a storm every, like, hour or more. And it's really, really, really annoying. Now, that, that's great for any other situation besides this one. So, stuff isn't as destroyed as I'd like it to be in some situations. Like, hardly anything is destroyed over here. Like, for the, the fences, at least. I mainly put some gaps in there, but... I mean, there's a decent amount of destroyed stuff, so it's good enough... I cannot sit here and wait for this any longer. I'm going to go insane. So I need to get this done. So I'm just going to show you guys how it looks. A lot of stuff is destroyed. I'm sure it'll be fine. So here we go. Let's go into capture mode. And I'm going to show you guys my abandoned park on Isla Pena. This one was interesting to build because, you know, I was intentionally destroying stuff. And I wasn't putting dinosaurs in exhibits. Or I was like, I was building exhibits, but then intentionally putting dinosaurs not in them kind of in the area around them that them um so yeah check it out for the opening area nice for the opening area um i put this is meant to just be kind of an opening like hey the first exhibit something fairly impressive um so i put some ceratosaurus i use the rainforest patterns because the rainforest pattern looks really scary and threatening looking and i think that that works pretty really well for um, for what I'm doing right now. <sighs> Let's turn off the storms, actually, so I don't get one in the middle. That would be my luck. Finally, I get one. Look at this. Heavy storms are on. I got, like, four total. Ever. It's terrible. Um. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, I put the rest horse there. The story I was going with for this one was that they just kind of got too overconfident, put too many carnivores here, and maybe a storm just hit and they couldn't control it because there's too many carnivores, and it went horribly wrong, and they could not fix the park, and so they just abandoned it, and it's been sitting here ever since. That's kind of the idea. So I just figured they made some stupid decisions with what dinosaurs they put here. They got a little bit too dangerous in terms of how many carnivores they put, and yeah, it all went to shit, basically. So you see there's some things that are broken, like the monorail station is broken, and got some flames. These things are broken, it's smoking. This thing's broken. Sorry, I just woke up. Um, although I would like to have seen this fence more broken. It literally has not been touched at all. I just put some gaps in there manually so they can walk in and out. Then here's what I did. Okay, so I used... I made these gates right. And then I had the path go through them and go up to these, like, thin fences and kind of, you know, kind of looks like they went through them, like, from a distance. You can, like, if you don't look too hard, it looks like maybe the path went through there. It's good enough. Um, because obviously I needed to section off this area so that dinosaurs wouldn't just wander wherever. I needed them to kind of stay in their general areas that I put them in. So, this is what happened. And there you go. Uh, so... My second area is probably the coolest one, in my opinion. My favorite area. Actually, that's, that's not true. One of the coolest areas is this little main street area. Now, all these shops are destroyed in some way, I think. Except for maybe the clothing shop isn't really, hasn't really been touched at all. But these are all broken, and it looks great. Look at this. Look at these three. That looks pretty abandoned to me. That's... It's like the apocalypse. It's amazing. The visitor center is a little bit broken. Could be could be a bit more broken, but it's okay. Uh, but in this area, I put the Brachiosaurus because I'm trying to recreate that sort of scene from here. He is from Fallen Kingdom, where the Brachiosaurus kind of just walks across the street in front of the visitor center, the innovation center. Oh, look at that shot, dude! That's a cool shot right there. Um, but yeah, so I put the Brachiosaurus in here and hoping to get that shot every once in a while where you can see him walking across the street, which is pretty cool. Uh, but also, 
Are these them? Yep. I put Trodons in here, so these are kind of a last minute I, um, choice because most of the dinosaurs I put in here you couldn't even see from the air because I put a lot of compies in here. And by a lot of compies, I mean I have like 30 compies in here. I, I, I can't even find them right now. Hello, compies. I want to find them so you can uh, check them out. But over here we have the exhibit where the Probably the copies of the Trodons would have been held. Um, and then over here is where the Brachiosaurus would have been held. I put like a start of a Jurassic tour here, just so it could possibly get broken. Of course, it was never touched, but you get the idea. The idea here is that this exhibit got kind of flooded. So the exhibit, the tour would have gone like around here, but now there's water everywhere, so it's kind of flooded. I saw some copies there, briefly. There you go, it's copies. There's like 30 of them in here, but it's hard to see them because they're so small, which is kind of why I added the Trodons, so you can actually see something in this exhibit, like, from the air. God, look at this, just... Look at how destroyed it is. This is cool. I'm sorry I'm yawning so much. I need to get this done, and I just woke up, so... I have no choice. I have to record this right now. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's the middle section. It's got Brachiosaurus's compies. Let's see if I can get some... Figure out where the compies are. Get a good view of them all. Here. There, you can kind of see like a big group of them. Just kind of scurrying around here and there. It's hard to see individual ones, but you can see the group when they all run around at the same time. Which is cool. You know, the compies had just come out when I was making this park, so um, I decided to use them in here. And I'm really happy with the outcome. Um, so then over here, oh god, uh, over here I have sort of a security facility with the ACU center. I guess it's a little bit broken. It could be more broken, but it's okay. Um, look at this. It's all crumbling. This area is pretty destroyed, especially this, this thing. Look at that. It's cool. Um, but it was like a, a research facility is what I'm saying it was because you got a bunch of industrial buildings and stuff. Over here, you got an exhibit that was a Velociraptor pen, but then it broke. They all broke out as they did in the film, and now we have these guys. And I used the Tiger Raptors because, of course, they just came out when I was making this park. And I'm so happy. Look at how cool they are. The Tiger Raptors, I love them, man. So there you go. Um, I also actually discover if you drive a vehicle somewhere and break it you can just leave it there and it can't drive back on its own because it can't move and it, it won't respawn until you manually make it respawn so you can just make a vehicle just completely destroyed done at zero percent health and then just leave it there and it looks cool look at this i just have some ruined vehicles around here there's one somewhere else in the park that i'll show you but i'm really happy with that that's really cool. God, look at, just look around at how destroyed everything is. It's so cool looking. If the whole park looked like this, it would be perfect, but it's still pretty good. Look at that, you can see inside the building. Hmm, that's cool. Oh, it's cool, to, it's just cool how destroyed everything is. But yeah, so if we head over here, then go to the final area of the park. I started using the Redwoods a lot. I kind of got obsessed with them for a while because they're so cool. And I want to use them. I want to do a park where I use only them at some point. I don't know what park I'm going to do that, but in one of the parks I'm probably just going to use like mostly those. So I feel like having those with other trees in the park kind of clashes weirdly. It only works if there's only Redwoods. So here we got another little section of shops. Of course, only this one got destroyed. Oh my god, wake up. I'm so sorry. Um, only that one got destroyed, but it's okay. I really wanted to see if the aviary could get destroyed. I don't know if it can, but it didn't here. I put the aviary just because I wanted to get that kind of Jurassic Park 3 vibe. Where, it, you know, the island in that movie is a, re is a ruin. And, you know, the, the uh, aviary looked really cool in that kind of setting. So I wanted to put an aviary. If it got broken, that would have been even cooler. Um, but I don't think I don't know if it can be broken. Got our hotel here. We got our hatchery, which I just let 
get destroyed, and I let the dinosaurs just walk back and forth between here, because, you know, there's no reason not to. It was the last area I built, so it was cool having dinosaurs just kind of walk out, having this area get destroyed, and they could just go wherever. Um, so this area is supposed to be kind of like a little petting zoo-looking sort of area. Obviously, you could never touch these dinosaurs, but it's like a little... A little happy little zoo where all the kids would go and it would be beautiful and lovely. Um, and here I put a bunch of herbivores. I put the Montosauruses. I put Chasmosaurus. Um, what else? I did Sorpelta, I think. Somewhere. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, how cool that looks. It's so great. Um, I think I have Sorpelta here. Some kind of Stegosaurus. I don't remember which one. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we got Sword Pelta here. Hello. Hello. There he is. Found him. Okay. Sword Pelta and... Stegosaurus is somewhere. Um, hello. There they are. Stegosaurus. So yeah, a lot of herbivores here. They all got broken out. But then the other section here, right, like over here, this is the Tyrannosaurus Rex exhibit. So I have two T-Rexes from the new 1993, or 1993, I think it's 2001 and 1997 skins or something like that. Um, I have two T-Rexes roaming around here somewhere. I, I don't know where they are, but hey. They're, they're here somewhere. Let's go find them. I also put the other wrecked Jeep in this exhibit here. Which is pretty cool. I kind of get like a Nedry's Jeep sort of feel there. But instead of a Dilophosaurus doing it, it was T-Rexes. I kind of just destroyed it and it got left there. And the poor guy who was driving that is no more. Sorry, buddy. Where are the Rexes? Seriously. They're just there. They're just in the exhibit. There, there they are. Just in plain sight. How can I not find these guys before? Jeez. Hello, Rexy. There's a green one. He's pretty cool. I, I love the new model. The new model's so good. And then, where's the other one? I don't know if I ever actually showed this guy on camera. I want to find him. There he is. Hello, sir. God, he's awesome. I love him. There you go. So, there you go. That's pretty much the entire park. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Just looking around, it looks pretty cool. It could be a little bit more destroyed. Some of these buildings down here, like, weren't even touched. You know, the shops over here, the Jurassic Tour up there wasn't even touched at all. But most, a lot of stuff is destroyed. The aviary could have been destroyed. That would have been cool. But it's okay. It looks as good as it's ever going to look. I'm not going to sit here for, like, a, another day straight waiting for stuff to get destroyed. I have other things to do. I have other things to record. I have more important things to do. So, it's okay. It looks fine. Could look better, but it looks fine, I think. So, there you go. There's my abandoned park on Isla Pena. This tour took a while to get out, just because I was wait. I was having to... I had to find time to actually sit here and wait for stuff to get destroyed, and I had to, you know... It was just annoying me, getting this place to actually get look ruined, but I think overall in the end it looks pretty good. Um, oh, look at him go. Look at him. Look at him. Zoom across. He's just hanging out. Look at him. It's beautiful. Go shuffling. But yeah, I finally got this done. Next time, you're going to see my, um, actually, you probably have already seen it start, my park build on Isla Tacano. Oh, that started already. Probably, I think. That's going on. Uh, I'm doing a design park where I try to make it look as pretty as possible. And I've pretty much already finished recording that as of right now. So, but it's a, it's a cool series. Go check that out. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. It was very difficult. Different and difficult. Different cult <laughs> for me to, that was stupid, for me to build. Because I'm not very creative. So, and the path tool is finicky sometimes when you're trying to build really complex things. And I was getting really frustrated. So, Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, if you enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like on the video and comment something and give me some suggestions for future park builds if you want. 
Um, I kind of already have all my ideas picked out, but if you want to give me ideas for dinosaurs I should use, exhibits I should use, whatever, um, give me some suggestions. I might take them into consideration. Also, subscribe and hit the bell um, so you don't miss any future episodes of Jurassic World Evolution. But other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.